Right, before we start this week's video, a massive thanks to everyone who turned up to the launch party last Sunday. It was a great success. Don't know how much money we actually made out of it yet, but I'll let you know as soon as I do. Even bigger thanks to the friends of the Meistig Welfare Park for giving up their time. Sort of the barbecue and everything. And even bigger thanks to all the musicians who give up their time too. Three weeks to go. I haven't really done any training this week because I've been on my holidays. Which, as I said last week, down again, so we had to cut this short. But something good did come out of the holiday. I walked various parts of the route uh, between Amroth and Tembe with the dog. It's really hilly. So that's just really, really put the shit up all four of us. Hi. It's Thursday, I've come back out for a ride. It's cool enough, but it is going to rain. So we've had a little bit, but nothing bad so far. But apparently it's going to rain really hard later. So I've come back over to Ashton Court to do the big long hill and basically scare myself out of smoking. I made it halfway up the hill and I can't breathe. My lungs are on fire. So Today's the day, no more fags. Wish me luck. Video number two on Thursday. I decided to stay out for a bit. Um, someone recommended a bike path, this bike path, um, to me weeks and weeks ago, and I keep meaning to come and find it. So I've come and found it, but now I've run out of time, and I'm, I'm going to have to go home, which is a shame. But I will be back. I did have to come down quite an overgrown narrow lane full of cars to get here which was all downhill which was fun but of course it's now going to all be uphill not so much fun wish me luck uh, first of all i want to say a big thank you for everyone who turned up on sunday for the uh, barbecue for the launch party uh music was great thank you rock uh, rocking chairs natalie and brad for doing that for us it's a great day great turnout I uh, don't know how much money we've actually raised so far, but um, every penny helps. Training this week, uh, pretty much non-existent due to the fact that my bike is a rubbed off. Come off it, uh, but week Thursday, I uh, damaged all the back wheel. So this week, with the help of Andrew and Morgan, we've managed to get a bike sorted for me. So a big thank you to those guys for helping me out. Um, so yeah, hopefully now, now I finally got a bike sorted out, I'm going to try and push as much training as I can now because we've got less than three weeks until we do this challenge. Dreading it now, I, don't, I really don't think I've done enough training, so it's getting the miles in this week. Uh, going away for three nights uh, this weekend, so I might take it, the bike with me just so I can get some extra training in. But it's going to be a case now of going out nearly every day. Rain, shine, snow, whatever the weather, i just really got to get out. Yes, yeah, so hopefully we'll have some more videos next week. I know Mark have been away this week. Uh, I, we haven't been out. So, yeah, with a bit of luck, more videos, more footage. But keep, please keep watching. Like, big thumbs up. Subscribe to the page and most importantly, please donate. Thank you. Hello. Uh, yesterday I found the path that I wanted to explore for run out of time. So I've come back today and just about two seconds from where I shot the last video, this lovely lake. Look at that. It's really peaceful. Some anglers on the other side of the lake. Very nice. This has been my first stop. I can see the Severn Ridge and Wales. Uh, I've been going for about 50 minutes. Um, the path turned into a road, uh, but it's been incredible for wildlife. I've seen two types of deer, a kestrel, a red kite. Yep, it's been pretty good. See you later. I'm just outside Portishead and look, big boy roads, I don't like them. So I've just done a mile on the Big Boy Road and now I'm going to turn back 
Although I have just freewheeled for about 10 minutes. So I'm now going to have to cycle up that. And it looks increasingly more like rain. Yay! See you. I'm home now. That was really, really knackering. I don't know how far I've done. I'll check that and I'll go back to you. Uh, I made the schoolgirl error of uh, not taking any sweeties. So I'm really, really, really tired. Um, but, alas, got to get on with life as well. Got to pack, have a shower and then pop to my stay for a wedding tomorrow. Alright, see you around. Good morning. It's ridiculously early. So that's the coffee done. Quick little vape. And then get my ass out. Just cycled most of the way up Neath Road. Still got a fair way to go yet. Or I'd possibly get over to have an argue this morning. But it's just started now, so I've pulled in for a little bit of shade. While I have a drink. See you in a bit. Okay, so uh made it to the top of Neath Road. And uh Apart from the stop, put a jacket on. This is clattering down. It's fucking horrible hill to take. A really, really horrible hill to take. And it's just started fucking raining again. But I'm going that way. See how far I can get before I fucking drown or come off. Gotta keep an eye on the time. I've got to take Christy to the train station at 10. Well, uh, I was planning to get up there. But there is no way. Even though I'm hybrid, this is slushy as absolutely no grip on a hybrid. Tires are too thin. Which is a shame because I, I walk this route quite regularly. But it's much, much, much harder on a bike. <laughs> Hell. But yeah, there is absolutely no way you can get up all this slush on a hybrid. So I don't know which way I'm going to go. I'm either going to go down Brynway or up towards Kyra. I think I'll go Bryn first, see what the road is like. Surprising how different cycling is, to be honest. I mean, like I said, I walk these routes very regularly with the dog. No f***ing troubles at all. All right, coming down, it's a bit hard on my bad knee, but... That's a lot more difficult on a bike. Just using muscles you don't normally use. On these tracks. They're pretty much built for mountain bikes, not what the f*** I'm using. Look at that f***ing skid mark, that was me attempting to stop. Going quite slowly, this f***ing road is lethal. I'm uh, just hoping I don't run into any wild boar. Because apart from my leatherman, I've got f***ing all on me. Well, I've uh, decided to come back and go towards Cairoway. This little mountain runs me, my brakes really f***ing squeaky. Listen to this. <laughs> That's something I need to f***ing fix when I get home. <laughs> At least I don't need a f***ing bell on it.
lot more fun coming down here. Oh, I gotta go down Neath Road. As you can see, I'm uh, obviously here. <coughs> it got a little bit fucking moist out. I'm uh, absolutely fucking ringing. I'm hoping my. Uh, well, it's not mine. I'm hoping Greg's GoPro is okay. It took a bit of a fucking tumble. Still working. I can't see any obvious damage on it. Sorry, Greg. <laughs> but the the mount sort of exploded, so it's not my fault. German engineering, my ass. Go back out again later. Depending on how full I am, I'm going out for a meal for a brother-in-law's birthday. Look at it, man. Well, that ride was eventful. Not only really eventful, it was educational as well. I learned my bike is shit on mountain path. And paths you think you can walk easily are a lot harder on a bike. Eventful, because it absolutely clashed it down. Not only really did I take a tumble, one of the cameras did as well. Which you'll see in the outtakes in a minute. And that was the expensive one that isn't mine. <laughs> Sorry, Greg. It still works. I've checked it. It's all right. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Follow the links in the description below for more info on the Garnwen Trust and to the My Donate site. Please sponsor us either by following the links or by coming to see us personally or popping into Travellers. Give the video the thumbs up. Favorite the video. Whatever you want to do. Subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next week. <laughs>